to the vlog. Um, Hobbs is taking over this one, aren't you, sweetheart? Week 35, yeah? What have you got to say about that? So it is week 35 of my pregnancy and uh, Hobbs is going to settle down on my bum. Wait, ow, 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 okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's quite hard doing dogs and bumps. Um, yes, and... Uh, Oh, hope all of you are well. Thank you so much for lovely, lovely comments about the wallpaper and the last video. And also about my singing. That's really, really kind. I just basically use my music because I know that I can use it without worrying about copyright and things. But also because it's nice to, to kind of hark back to those days. And uh, yeah, so if a lot of people have written saying, where can I get your music? So the only place actually at the moment where new music is coming from is our Patreon. So patreon.com slash Gabby Young is where all the music is at. And I'm pretty much once a month sending you either a new song or like or a whole concert um, of MP3s or some a blast from the past or something of just me recording with um, my guitar. Although I cannot fit a guitar over the bump so not so much of that at the moment, it's more archive stuff, but you get a lot of goodies um, and you get to support my music. So that's a really, really big important part of my life and it's been really lovely seeing quite a few of you already sign up to be patrons. I hope you're enjoying your time with us. But yeah, anyway, completely random, went off on a tangent as always. Um, I don't have that much to update you on actually. I'm gonna show you, um, what we're up to this week obviously there's a little bit more diy lots of goodies arriving in fact there have been some amazing brands that i have um managed to to collaborate with so i've got a lot of that coming up you'll you'll see there's a i've been sent all sorts of lovely gifts for baby and for me um maternity wise and uh yeah i'm very very excited actually to share the love with them because I just didn't expect that. That's been a very unexpected little journey that I've gone on recently and very overwhelming. Um, but I really want to share products that I really, really believe in. So yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of that in this video. Um, but genuinely good, like out of breath a lot as always. Um, but been feeling pretty good, getting quite a bit of sleep, still up in, you know, in the night to go to the loo, but that's so normal. Um, and I actually do go back to sleep at the moment, which is great. I'm not sitting awake in the bathroom <laughs> recently, so that's good. Um, I've got a scan on Wednesday, another growth scan. Uh, so hopefully that will all be good. But yeah, I actually don't have, I've got no symptoms, do I? A little bit of acid reflux, but nothing too bad. Um, my energy levels have definitely like taken a bit of a dive so my nesting energy definitely the last two days I've I've felt it leave me and I'm like no I want to tidy and clean but I don't I don't want to anymore <laughs> I don't have the energy to anymore so I uh, feel much better today but yeah the last two days especially yesterday yes I was a zombie and I just kept napping and eating feeling a bit nauseous again so I just yeah that's all I managed to do yesterday very very little um but apart from that it's all tickety-boo so um I'm gonna make this a nice short little intro because there's nothing else really to share okay so I'm going to um go and cuddle my dog and <laughs> eat some cake because I've just had the lovely Hannah over from Rather Be Sewing um, and she uh, basically made a delicious rhubarb and ginger cake but she was here to do a vlog with me so we've like done a vlog all about the things that we've made or worn throughout our pregnancy that we've made already um, it's such a great little video I'm, well it's not little it's really long but that's going to be coming up soon um, and I hope that will be really informative to other people that are sewing for two um, so enjoy our week see you in a bit Guys, something very exciting has just arrived. She finally has somewhere to sleep. So, um, even though it's not very heavy, I'm not allowed to carry that into the bedroom. So that's fine. I'll wait for Stephen to get back um, to open that up. 
But with that, good old John Lewis delivery. Um, we've got the the three piece bedding set, and I love the way that it's clouds and stars and everything. It's going to suit it so beautifully. So. So jersey blanket and two fitted sheets and also very important waterproof mattress protector. So I might need another one of these. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But um but that's a really good start that we're gonna have somewhere proper for her to sleep finally, which is massively exciting. And we're gonna set that up by the bed. Oh, and okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, sorry, I'll move my, should I, my makeshift bedside table. So, the cupboard has had an upgrade, because Stephen, bless his little heart, um, sorry, hello bump, <laughs> um, has put in door handles so we can open them <laughs> normally, because we've been opening them from up uh, the top and the bottom. And not only that, but he's put in a light! that op uh, turns on when you open it. So that is so cool. And he was like, I know that you have problems with leads everywhere because he has problems. Sorry, that's my breast pads. <laughs> uh, with leads everywhere. And I always have them all over the floor and he's not very happy about it. He's like, please, can we not have leads everywhere? So he has put the hairdryer plugged in Ta -da! into the cupboard, which is awesome. And I've got a little four way back there for like charging my toothbrush and stuff it's still a bit of a mess in there because i'm waiting for the shelves to be put up and then they can move across to the shelves um but it's super organized still look at the light it goes up and it goes on um steven's done the same in his cupboard oh yeah in his cupboard and, and i really like the door handles I had them already hanging around because we were gonna get different ones and I was like actually let's just try these and we're really happy with them so cute hey um and then we've been talking about whether to do curtains on the big window and uh we've got to paint the frame and the shutters still anyway and I think we're doing that this weekend but I have these curtains in my fabric stash because I was like I'm gonna make a skirt or a dress out of them which is actually pretty crazy because they're really thick canvas pretty sure they're originally from Ikea but I got them at a car boot sale for like two pounds for a pair and I'm just about to go and find out I'm about to get the step ladder over to the window and find out if they fit but I think they do because they look really long so won't they be perfect so I just think that'll be really lovely, a little blast of colour. Bunting is always lovely and it's something that is, okay, very nursery, but also not hugely so. Like I feel that as grown-ups we can also <laughs> um, appreciate the beauty of these curtains. So yeah, I think these are going to go up, which is very exciting. Yes, they totally fit. They totally fit. In fact, they're longer than the wall so I can hem them because I've noticed that they're not actually hemmed so I can hem them and put maybe some weight in them uh, they need a very good iron but I think just a pole uh, because they're beautifully attached I, I mean I'm not sure if it's done by Ikea uh, okay I don't know yeah it must be but yes beautifully attached to that so we just need a pole and we've got curtains! Woo! In other news, I just wanted to talk about this. So, this is the LV personal trainer. It is your most personal trainer. It's um, uh, to tone your pelvic floor. And LV kindly gifted me this, and I'm completely blown away by that. It was so kind of them. And I just wanted to basically just say about how I'm using... I've used it for 10 days now. And I'm going to be very open about the fact that I was actually having a few problems with the fact that the baby was pushing down on my bladder and <laughs> sneezing and coughing and laughing was ending with some little whoopsie moments at times. Um, but since using this for 10 days, I haven't had a problem, touch wood. So uh, it's absolutely amazing. Goes inside, you know where. Um, and then there's an app on your phone 
and you basically play a game <laughs> with your pelvic floor controlling it and it's just brilliant and it charges in here it's so I love the packaging and the look of it it's all so tidy and wonderful so thank you so much LV that has been a massive help because I think pelvic floor is something that us ladies need to know a lot more about and we don't and especially you know in pregnancy you can really really do some damage that can cause some serious life problems for you so look after your pelvic floors ladies and have a look at the LV it's amazing an LV for your pelvis so I know it's better late than never, but I managed to put my cards out from both my baby showers. How lovely are they? Oh! And behind them we have Ollie the Owl, which was given to me by my lovely old school friend Tessa. And then Moz the Monster, who was given to us by um, my sister Nikki. And then Bella was um, another old school friend who gave me this lovely rabbit. Oh, it's just so soft. Honestly, every time I touch it, I'm like, oh! Um, and then my hummy bear has just been gifted to us as well so I'm going to talk a lot more about this but it's basically a white noise bear there's an app that connects to it it's on bluetooth you can play music through it it's got this amazing humming heart um, that you connect to it and I'll tell you more about it but um, basically I can't wait to try that and thank you so much to my hummy for that that's a lovely lovely thing to have in the nursery I've also finally started putting things away in the drawers so in here we have bibs, little mittens and little hats and toys and things and there um, in here we have at the moment <laughs> I need to like fold them and sort them out properly but they've just been cleaned by my lovely mother-in-law and she's given us most of this stuff it's absolutely incredible I mean her generosity is just unbelievable so look at all these oh that's so cute Monday Tuesday every day by dinosaur <laughs> Um, there is a lot of amazing stuff in here I think I'm going to do a whole vlog all about the baby stuff we have but yes, I need to properly go through and fold it and sort it out and everything. But for now, they're just in there like that. And in here, we've got blankets, muslins, a little um, snowsuit that our, our parents gave us. And also all of these sleeping bags are in here as well. So yeah, they're just oh gorgeous. So I just got a lovely post a box full of goodies from bravado designs who um make beautiful nursing bras and accessories um and huge thanks to bump pr for getting me in touch with these guys because they're absolutely gorgeous and i can't wait to try them on okay i know i'm a bit naked and stuff but i'm so over it by now um I just had to report about how comfortable these bras are. I'm not being remotely biased, I just love them. They're so good. So this is the Bravado Designs Seamless Silk Bra in black and it is the most comfortable thing I've put on my whole pregnancy. It's just so lovely. It doesn't like pinch in any places because I've been having a real problem with pinching around my ribs. Um, but I'm going to wear it for a day because obviously, you know, it, I've put on bras before and at the beginning been like, oh my god, it's amazing. And then a week later been like, <laughs> I hate it. But so far, I'm very, very happy. Thank you very much, Bravado. And this one is the confetti style bra um, in the new Amistice. Am Amistice? Am Amistice. I can't say that. Um... Ameth amethyst amethyst um colorway and uh more of a kind of a relaxed bra and i'm i'm probably finding this even more comfortable actually it's just like it feels like you're not wearing anything which is amazing so yeah very 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 happy with these um awesome morning everyone okay it's saturday um we've taken hobbs out for a walk the weather is nice stephen's gone off to get shelves um i'm making pancake mix at the moment because um it was pancake day on tuesday and we have to have pancakes at some point and then look what just arrived at the post oh they're so cute these guys so they're the new handles for the dresser and of course I got them in my favourite colours and I thought the grey was so perfect. And look, okay, just look at how, oh, wait, there's, there's pants. 
There's pants on the bed. Okay, there's no longer pants on the bed. Look at how well they go with the covers. Like, how awesome is that? I didn't even mean for that to happen. But they were meant to take weeks and weeks and weeks to arrive. Um, and I think I was told last time that there'll be at least another um, week. But they've just arrived today, so I love it when things arrive early. They are so cute. There they are, they're all done. Aren't they amazing? And literally the blue goes so well with the sky of the cloud. It's so good. So Stephen, what are you up to at the moment? Uh, we've got some wood for shelves. Uh, Gabby's measured up all the measurements and they're all cool. <laughs> I hope so, don't blame it on me. <laughs> uh, so we've got some more up there. That we still need to do. These are all the ones for the lounge. Yeah more up there which are going to form the bedroom ones amazing and you're just priming them aren't you cool okay so now we're in the bedroom again and uh Stephen is painting the frames and i'm just doing the kind of edging to make sure that it's a nice clean edge against the wallpaper um but yeah it looks so good it's crazy what a paint of white coat can wow Wait, <laughs> a coat of white paint can do, isn't a coat it? Coat of white coat, eh? <laughs> oh, and that's. No, I'm having to really resist going. Hang spring cleaning. <laughs> that's from Wind in the Willows, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know. But have a look at our little doggy as well. Oh, Hobbles, are you all right, sweetheart? He's not a DIY fan, is he? No. Whenever we do DIY, he's like, oh, fine. I think he needs a couch, doesn't he? Oh, I know. He has got the couch, but he likes to be close to us. Um, but yeah, so that is looking really, really good. Um, and the underneath bit, the shutters are also going to be white in a bit as well. Um, and the wood is drying outside, but as you can see, it's got quite dark, so maybe we should bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're also having fights with birds. Yeah, birds pooping on our, on our wet paint, it's not fair. Hey, Gabby. Hello. <laughs> Just to prove that I'm doing some painting too. <laughs> We're so nearly done on the window, the window frame. It looks amazing. All right, I think that's it for now. The mirror's up! And I've given the mirrors a really good clean and it just looks so cool. I love that mirror. Do you like it, Hobbs? Oh, bless <laughs> I love that you can see the cloud in the mirror. And now we're putting up the radiator cover, which is very exciting as well. Lots of DIY happening. So, more amazing posts, look. This is a box of gorgeous stuff from Lil Tubs and they do amazing baby clothes. I really can't wait to see what is in here. There's a lovely note. Can't wait to meet your little cub. Oh. Um, and beautifully wrapped, so let's get in there, oh, okay, I'm so in love with this all already, look at this, this is a swaddle muslin with little Elma, and it's called Elma in the rain or something, if I remember rightly, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous, really soft, lovely, 100% cotton, we've got some cloves in here, <laughs> She is going to be so cute in this. Oh, oh look, there's a book. That is so lovely. We're going to have some little bookshelves, so that is going to look amazing in here, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Uh, some dribble bibs. Hobbs, do you like the dribble bibs? <laughs> Hobbs really like, I mean, to be honest, you would suit it. No, no, don't jump up, sweetheart. More muslin, so this is a really cute um, apple one. Oh, they're so lovely. And another little onesie. Oh, so cute. Thank you, little cubs, you're amazing. What's in the drawer today? 
reusable nappies. So um, these are from Close Parent and they're called Poppin Newborn Nappies. And we're going to try and do reusable right from the start, basically. That's what we want to do. We really want to be as eco-conscious as possible with this baby. So it's got um, these six wraps. There's two white ones. And then the inners. But I'll talk more about it um, later on in another vlog. But yes, very exciting. And also from Close Parent is this lovely carrier. So, okay. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> Oops. I've been trying to work out um, how it goes together, and luckily there's a really thick guide in there, and there's lots of YouTube videos. But this is kind of like the pouch, which is so cute, and then all the straps and everything here. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I mean, the colours go so well: <laughs> mustard grey, blue, and stripes. Yay! How ridiculously cute is all of this? So I'm already in one of the jumpers from Frugi and it's all organic. I love this is like the bag that it came in. Look, okay, so we've got baby clothes. Oh, oh my God, I can't get over that dress. The dress and leggings outfit and the little t-shirt. So cute. Uh, this is a onesie, the little strawberry onesie. Um, muslins which are beautiful I mean clouds and rainbows and everything what could be better these are fabrics and they're gorgeous they're so soft I think this is a cotton lawn um, real kind of like under the sea well actually there's bees okay all right this is under the sea because <laughs> there's mermaids and fishes and there's lots here it's beautiful I really can't wait to make some things out of this so I've got to get planning what I want to make out of these cottons um I was thinking maybe two-sided cloths and things like that would be lovely um bibs definitely I want to have a, a mermaid bib um and then yeah this is bees and stuff so it's like really lovely scene I uh, love the colors and then for me maternity wear so yeah so this is this jumper so lovely um been living in that all day this is a really cool nursing top just like a lovely navy nursing top this dress i'm a bit obsessed with so it's like a cloud dress i'm so excited about that and look at the bottom beautiful oh, frugi do this in a fabric i would buy lots of it <laughs> um and then this is another favorite this is like a cloud jumper so it's maternity friendly but also wait I'm trying to make it look a bit better for you guys so you can see okay all right well I'm not doing a very good job but it's uh, got at the back a big flap so it's really easy for feeding um, and I probably will live in this the whole time that I'm feeding that it's cold because it's just cozy and lovely and soft both these jumpers are such high quality. So thank you so much Frugi for all these goodies. Okay everyone, so I'm gonna wrap up for now. Um, I've had, yeah, a pretty good week. I'm 36 weeks tomorrow um, and I've got a scan again. I love my little growth scans and Stephen's coming, which is wonderful. So uh, yeah, just lots of amazing goodies and things have been arriving and uh, just a bit blown away and trying to make sure that doing all the right things to share them and everything is quite new for me. So yeah, just uh, very much enjoying that. Lots of lovely things arriving in the post. Um, but baby as well, doing her usual moving around painfully, very painfully at the moment, but it's fine. I just, I do, I just adore her and I don't mind. Um, and that's about it so i'll see you next week for more diy hopefully the last of the diy it's my birthday this weekend and i'm like that's all i want to do is finish the flat so i'm going to be doing that this weekend um and then hopefully we'll have it all done and uh there'll probably be more goodies to show you and all sorts of lovely things and i'm packing my hospital bag i'm gonna do a separate vlog about that but i'll also talk about it in you know my updates so yeah that's about it i hope you're all really well lots and lots of love to everyone take care and i will see you soon